it's very nice to have uh, people uh, receptive to what we're doing. Uh, today, this is uh, what we call the bad trio, not because we're bad people or that we're even that bad or anything like that. It's just Bob, Amy, Dominic, the best we could come up with it. Yeah. Bad trio. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am kind of the leader on this, but only because, I don't know, for no other reason. Default, the mic. Yeah, the default, I have the mic here. Um, but this is literally the second time I've been a leader in my life, and I think all of us are usually side people that are, uh, you know, just responding to other people's uh, calls for the gig and uh, putting things together. We're happy to be side men. I know I am uh, all the time, uh, and the burdens of leadership are off. But uh, tonight I'm taking the reins, and uh, we're going to do two sets. Um, we did a concert around uh, COVID times when uh, not much was in public. Um, we did a concert at Omni Music uh, up in Baltimore where it was uh, all the music of Wynton Kelly, uh, which was great, we had a good time. And then uh, I was talking with John and uh, we were thinking about putting something else together. Um, and Bob is a very, very much of a Wynton Kelly diehard, but also very schooled in the knowledge of uh, and music of Thelonious Monk. Uh, so we're doing one set of Thelonious Monk, one set of Wynton Kelly, and a uh, little bit of little bit of words. A little bit of words on uh, each, uh, each, each composer there. So with Monk, uh, for those of you that don't know or uh, you know, want to know a little bit more, you know, he was really known for his compositions, but as well as his playing, very angular type of style uh, and deeply personal. Uh, when you hear three or four notes, you know it's Monk. Um, <laughs> We're going to get started with uh, a tune called Hackensack, which is yeah. a uh, small town in New Jersey. Uh, it's also where uh, Rudy Van Gelder, the great engineer, had his studio. Uh, and nearby, I think in Weehawk in New Jersey, that's where the Baroness Konika de Konigswater, Nika of Nika's Dream, and then uh, Pananika of the tune he wrote for her. She was like a wealthy uh, Baroness. Uh, and she helped out uh, a lot of jazz musicians and uh, uh, Charlie Parker and I think Barry Harris took over her place in Weehawken. Had a bunch of cats there, that was, that was the thing, <laughs> in Weehawken. But anyways, this is Hackensack and this is based on uh, the melody, uh, it's what you would call a contrafact, based on the melody and chord changes of Lady Be Good. So this is Hackensack. <laughs>
the proper response for the latest <laughs> monk's music. <laughs> what, what I always love about monk's music, what a lot of people say is, you know, it's, it's kind of out, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, if, if you're a musician looking at the chords, and yeah. it's definitely different. It's not like far out. It's not like no. Sun Ra or something, but you know, it's a little bit out, but it's really accessible at the same time, and it has a very uh, danceable kind of feel to it. You know, it's very so. A lot of people that I think Monk is a good in for a lot of people. If you didn't maybe hadn't listened to much jazz, you could put on some Monk, and somebody that you know. It could be a good access point for them, you know? And there's a lot of beauty and a lot of personality there uh, that comes through. So that, that's what I love about Monk, and a lot of people do as well. Um, you know, it has a very danceable quality, and uh, different players that have played with him through the years kind of carry that uh, forward. Charlie Rouse was his main saxophonist on a lot of that, and really had that rhythmic kind of feel together. Uh, Frankie Dunlop, uh, the great drummer, really captured that kind of danceable quality. Uh, of course, Monk had a, a deep relationship with Art Blakey as well, who was on a lot of his recordings. Um, and uh, great bassist Butch Warren from uh, DC played a lot with Monk in the uh, mid-60s, 62, 63, 64, somewhere around there. Um, and Bob, I, you played with Butch Warren a little bit, right? Of course. You played with Butch, yeah. Butch, oh yeah. Butch, and I played a little bit with him and when he was back in DC and all. And uh, he was kind of the house bassist on a lot of uh, Blue Note recordings as well. Um, so a lot of people came up through, uh, through Monk's band and all. And, uh, we're going to continue here. Uh, this is Arano. Uh, this is a little bit more down tempo. I'm not sure the origins of this. Uh, it's Lenore spelled backwards, but I don't know who Lenore is. Uh, but this is Arano. <laughs>
to Monk's music just has like a childlike quality, almost like children's songs almost, but like really hip, you know? So uh, I just enjoy so much playing with Amy Shook. The Shield Maiden of Swing. <laughs> and Bob Buddha, the, the blue the blue collar bebopper. That's four years ago. So, so we haven't played together since then, and we just got together a little bit before you guys got here today to uh, run down these tunes. So, uh, yeah, well, uh, but it's it's great to uh, it's great to be back uh, uh, together and doing these tunes and um, doing a little something different with the monk stuff today, like I was saying. Uh, this is another one uh, of monks uh, called Baya. I'm not sure of the uh, uh, origin of this one. Uh, this has a another kind of playful quality to it, uh, but this is, has more of a Latin feel. Uh, this is one of his earlier compositions, dates back to I think the late 40s, uh, maybe early 50s. Uh, but this is Baya. I'll say that. Thank you. 
trout on all our gigs. <laughs> so again, you see the, uh, the, playful, the playful nature of, of Monk. It, it never fails to uh, deliver. Uh, this next one uh, is called Reflections. Uh, he was also, a, a, he didn't do that many, but all his ballads are really incredible. Um, there's too many tunes, we'd be here all night to, uh, to do all of them, but uh, Panonica, it's a beautiful ballad. Uh, Monk's Mood, beautiful. Uh, he did uh, a waltz called Ugly Beauty, that's phenomenal. <laughs> the tunes just go on, Ask Me Now, sure, that's become really a jazz standard uh, on its own. And uh, this is Reflections, uh, kind of a walking ballad. And uh, Bob will do a little intro up front.
more of this set on the monk side. We're going to come back to uh, some monk, uh, one more in the, the next set. Uh, but this is Epistrophe. I'm not sure the titles, uh, or the origin of that title either. Um, but he used to use this uh, as a chaser. So that would be like the, the tune at the end of the set uh, to just kind of close things out. And to me, this always had the feeling like a, like a pot boiling over, like it's bubbling over. And when it gets you into the bridge, the middle part kind of releases or whatever. So see if you can pick up on that a little bit. We're just going to do a, a short little chaser, like I said, uh, on epistrophe here. Once again, Bob Buddha. Are you sure? Yours truly, Dominic Smith. And this is Epistrophe. And then we'll take a quick break and get back to uh, some music on the Winton Kelly side. Other side with Wheaton Kelly with a whole uh, whole different kind of thing. Thanks for listening. Oh, yeah.